Welcome back to the Lemon Factor. I'm Chad, and today we are headed back to the dyno, once again, with our project car, the 2019 Mazda MX-5 Miata RF. And remember, we have two project cars, so we also have the 2019 Honda Accord 2.0 Touring. And for those of you new to the channel, thank you for joining. And in the past, I have taken the car several times to the dyno to test out various axle back exhausts and various mid-pipe configurations. If you're interested in seeing the results of those dynos, please take a look at the description below. I'll leave links there, or you can check out the channel page, uh, the playlist for our ND2 Mazda Miata. We're headed back to the dyno, the car stock, and the only thing that I changed, which is a big thing, but the only thing that I changed is I added a tune. So I purchased the VersaTune from Fab9. So it's the VersaTune software, but the tune is from Fab9. And I installed that maybe about a month ago. I've been driving it ever since, letting the car acclimate to the new tune, letting myself get used to it. And actually it's taken a while for me to be able to get in with the dyno tuner. But already I can tell you that it is well worth the money spent. The car is so much more responsive. It is so much cleaner and smoother when you drive. And at least from a standstill, from first, second, third gears, you notice that um, the throttle pickoff, the transition between the gears are noticeably easier. It's easier to drive fast. It's easier to drive fast from a standstill. And I really am enjoying it. So regardless of how much horsepower and torque uh, we gain from this tune. I'm really happy with it, especially the dollar spent. So it's relatively speaking inexpensive and relative to an exhaust or a mid pipe, it is on the cheaper side. And also it raises the RPM, the red line for the car. So we already have a, with the ND2, a relatively higher uh, red line. So this raises it just a bit, bit more. So I'm really curious to see what gains we get out of this VersaTune from Fab9. And if you're interested, if you're looking to find out how much you can gain on an otherwise stock car, so no exhaust, no axle back, no mid pipe, no air intake, nothing like that. This is just a totally stock car on this tune, which is a 93 octane tune, then stay tuned. Before we head over to the dyno, please don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications so that you're made aware of future videos. We have two project cars. One, this 2019 Mazda MX-5 Miata RF. And the second one is our 10th generation Honda Accord, our 2019 Honda Accord 2.0 Touring. So we do a lot of different reviews on modifications. We take a look at what's out there. I'll do installs. I'll do tests on those, including like today, we'll run it on the dyno. I'll give you my input, all in an effort to see if certain modifications are right for you. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up.
I have to say that I am surprised. I'm surprised that uh, the car made as much horsepower as it did. Um, for those of you who have been following the channel for some time, you'll know that that is uh, significant, especially if you're comparing it to what an axleback and a mid-pipe combination can deliver. Compare the two price prices, you know, how much an axleback and a mid-pipe costs compared to this Versatune, and it really makes this Versatune by Fab 9 uh, a great value. Not only that, not only just the peak horsepower that it produced, but really the feeling, the responsiveness, the driving feel, for that alone, even if it didn't produce the numbers that we saw here, I'd still say it's worth it. It is very, it is very noticeable. It is very enjoyable to drive, more enjoyable now to drive, so I appreciate that. Um, the addition of the increase in redline to what I'm seeing as about 7,700 RPM, and that's great. I can't wait to actually test a zero to 60 times. What's interesting with this ND Maz Miata is every time I dyno it, it seems to improve with every run, meaning horsepower increases with every run, which is great. Um, will it void your warranty? Yeah, if something goes with your engine um, and something can be attributed to the fact that you have a tune on it, it's going to vo void your warranty. So be aware of that before you install it. That's it for today. I hope you liked the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you'd like to see in future videos. Leave a comment below. Thanks again, and until next time.